oh hey what is up guys how you doing so today i'm going to kind of run you through assembling like brief assembly and then the overview of this um, dresser right here that i found it is the um, let me show you it comes in two big ass boxes comes in one big box and then a second uh, smaller box but i really like the ikea the mom dresser or whatever i'll put the name of it right there that that dresser the ikea mom and uh i couldn't get it shipped cheaper than like a hundred bucks something it was pretty crazy so I saw this and it looked almost exactly like it. So I'm wondering what's going on here. So I figured let's order it. I got it on Amazon. I'll link this one down below that I got from Amazon. So if you're not near an Ikea and you can't get it shipped to you, this would be like almost a direct replica of it. So well, at least we'll, we'll see. We'll find out, we'll check it out. I'm gonna get all these boxes open and I'll be right back. All right, so all the pieces are laid out here. I'm looking at the instruction manual and it is saying that that's gonna be kind of the general layout right there. So there's no, going to be no bottom piece. The only thing is going to be a top piece. So let me kind of, so let me kind of get some momentum going here, and then I'll kind of walk you through this build. I don't want to sit here and show you all the awkward moments where I'm trying to figure this out slowly. Okay, so first step is going to be you're going to be doing both of these side doors. There's two side thin ones like this, and then there's a middle one, which is the middle of the dresser. But you're gonna you're gonna have pieces of uh, styrofoam everywhere. Um, but you drill uh, these little black screw things. One, two, three, four, and then you put your hinges on. You go from the fourth screw in like that, and then on the second screw, it's gonna be right in between there. And that's for all this. And you get two of these weird little spinny screws here, and then the little bamboo shoot things at the bottom. So that's what each of your side doors should look like. And then this is gonna be your big middle piece right here. Uh, it's gonna be double-sided with the hinges, or the, not with, the, with the sliders. You're gonna have your black screws in, and they're gonna be kind of offset at the bottom right here, but at the top they're at the same hole. You just have to pay attention to the instructions and make sure you drill them in the same way. And then you have your weird little screws at the bottom and then your bamboo shoot inserts. All right, moving on. And then we got our six uh, black screw things put into the top piece right there. And again, guys, just know you're gonna have styrofoam everywhere. It's gonna be a mess. And then the instructions said to put, um, you gotta get two of these, these small pieces. They are the, uh, the PC pieces and you put the little bamboo shoots in them and then you're supposed to put glue on the bottom side of this and then attach it into here. Um, but I wanna kinda do as messless of an operation as possible. So I'm just gonna let them sit there for a second until I figure out what exactly that is and if it needs glue. If it doesn't, then I'm not gonna add it. If it does, then I'll add glue and I'll let you guys know. And then we got two of these KB, KB pieces. We had to put the that thing there and that thing there and the bamboo shoots on either side. So we had two of these. And then six of these pieces right here that are called JC right here. And we just put a bamboo shirt on each side and then the metal um, weird screw thing in there. So this right here marks kind of the end of the uh, putting stuff, prepping stuff together process. And now it gets exciting. We start putting it together. You get to see it come to life. All right, fun time starts now. We're taking the KB piece. I'm gonna slip that into there. Those bamboo studs go into there. And this same thing on this side and then we take and turn this little screw mechanism thing to tighten that that which clamps this in together we're gonna slip our JC pieces in on the bottom here at the same time get everything slipped onto that side okay. and then just tighten everything up from this side there we go it's coming together get in there all right then we start tightening these things which clamps it into itself. All right, and there we go, there's the first section. And then we take and do the same thing for here with the JPs and PCs and all the BBs and HEBs and whatevers. So we'll connect this real quick. And then now for the back, we have this piece that kind of just like unfolds as one. And then we're gonna slip that into here. Like that, we just go down and get it kind of in there. There we go, like that. And I'll do the same thing for this side too. And now let's flip it around so you can see the front. And then we gotta put the top on. All right, now, top slips on. We're getting somewhere, there we go. Go, buddy. And those pieces they said to glue were just literally little flaps that hang here. So I don't think I need to glue them. I'm gonna go ahead and attach them on fully like that so I would say you're safe to skip the gluing process on these little pieces up here 
All right, so now all we have to do is uh, assemble all the little drawers. So we're gonna put one of those little twisty, screwy things in each one of these side pieces like this. And then on the big black shelf front, which is the EC piece, we're gonna put a piece up here. One of these, we're gonna put these screw, the black handled screws, whatever you'd call them. Set screws maybe. One on each side into the small hole. Cheat with a power drill. We get one of our side pieces. And remember this line right here is gonna be continuous like that. And then these three pegs up here, these three pegs are gonna be facing forward. So away from there. And let me show you. Take these little plastic screws or push things and just, oh, come on. And we just shove them into there, it looks like. Just like that. Get in there. And then the second one goes in at the bottom here. These are kind of hard to push in, guys. So you have to muscle it a little bit. There we go. And then our other side, we butt up to here. And remember, we're keeping this line in line with this bottom line right here. Shove it on through. Gosh, that's hard to put in. And we'll set this up right. These are gonna be a little bit wobbly because all these, all holding this in is these little plastic tab things. And then remember we have this inside line right here, right? So when we put this top on, we're gonna line it up with that inside line. This line right here with those. And it's just gonna pop on. Shit, I probably put a, should, should have put the shelf bottom in. Dang it. <laughs> you learn as you go, guys. And once you get this first one done and you realize how to do it, the, all the other ones are gonna be really easy to do. You just gotta repeat this six times and it's gonna get easier each time. Let's slip our shelf bottom in. Get it in and line it up, and then we'll figure it out. There we go. Boom. Now we can put that top piece on again. Gotta tighten my little, uh, tighten little things on the side, clamp that down, and I'm gonna build the last five of these and we'll be right back. Okay, so now all the stuff to do is to take these drawers, toss them on these rails right here, Get them in there, come on. And then we have to screw in the sides here. So this goes all the way to the front, locked in there, and then this screw lines up perfectly. If I can get it in just like that. And then we do the same thing on the other side of the shelf, and then for all six shelves, I'm gonna do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm actually impressed by the quality. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna last this well. Um, the drawers slide smooth. The only kind of gripe I have is they stop about two thirds of the way, um, which I don't know. I don't. That's probably kind of nitpicking. I don't know, um, but they slide really smooth. It would be cool. I don't know if the the actual IKEA one has like the soft closed doors. I mean, these kind of stop and then you close them, so they have like some kind of a damper-ish thing going on. I don't know if it's intentional or I'm just a really shoddy craftsman. One of the two. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool. And like I said, the Ikea one that I wanted, which is like identical to this, um, it, I had to pay like, I don't know how long, how much for shipping. It was quite a bit for shipping just to get shipped from Ikea. And so I decided to just go this route from Amazon. And again, I'll link this one down below. And if you guys want an update, let's say this video is like a year old and you want like a one year update, let me know in the comments and I will do an update on this and let you know how it's holding up. But again, guys, thanks for tuning into the old home renovation channel. This was just kind of a random piece of furniture I thought was pretty cool. So thought I'd show it to you guys. But yeah, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Improve your home. Bye. <laughs>